guys, hello again from Gresham, Oregon. Today what we have is the $25 EQL mystery box, which I can almost guarantee is gonna be all garbage, but we're gonna take a look anyway and hopefully get lucky. But that's okay, if we don't get lucky on that, I got a $80 Pop King Paul box, which is gonna be good. But to uh, start it off, I'd like to just grab these. And I don't know if you guys do this, but uh, the What Not app, I would get on the What Not app and there's uh, Event, uh, and, well there's just multiple things out there where you don't need to purchase anything and you can enter the Give Me contest. I go through, uh, it's Kraken Hits, uh, which I'm not necessarily a collector of Pokemon and all things Pokemon, but they're doing contests like, it seems like every five, ten minutes, right? And uh, they've got all these graded Pokemon cards. I've bought some in the past just so I could have some graded cards and add it to my collection of collectibles, right? And, hey, sorry, got a bulldog who's interested in some packaging material. Oh, sure, hun. Okay, so, but on there, like, I'll be doing other stuff, like just watching a movie or something, and I'll have this app up, and I'll have it muted, and every five minutes I'm entering a contest, and I've won, you know, so many of these, and this is like the, uh, you know, most recent couple weeks where... I'm getting free stuff sent to me. So set up a WhatNot app, go check out, and get, guys, get yourself some free stuff, right? Like uh, this is, I got a free booster pack. Free booster pack of these Pokemon cards, right? I mean, how how easy and cool is that? Uh, is there something else? I'm always hoping they accidentally send me, you know, maybe a 50 or something too, but. Nothing like that. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, I mean, just to, just to make you guys aware, if you want to get yourself some, some free cards or something and you're just sitting around watching TV, pull the app up and, you know, you hit, you hit, you know, the entry. And then you wait, drawing goes off, another entry will pop up. Another entry, you enter that and, you know, you'll probably win. I mean, I've won probably now, jeez, I think just from this site, maybe maybe 15 to 20 booster packs, uh, just by doing that repetitiously, you know, enter, 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 while I'm watching TV, in fact, yeah, another booster pack, uh, and I mean, you literally don't have to do anything to get these except hit that enter on the app, and it's like, they pay for shipping, uh, you know, they must be doing well financially because I've noticed with the Avend, uh, one that that's for Funko Pops and, uh, they give you, they send you out stickers, you get 15 different stickers and X amount of dollars is spent on the website. You get 20 different unique, uh, stickers from them. And I think it's a thousand dollars that you can spend, uh, on their, what, uh, you know, what not app, uh, I've gotten quite a few stickers from them too, but I've noticed the giveaways on those have kind of tapered off with, you know, the Funko issues of uh, devaluing people's collection and just collections in general going a little less. But yeah, look at that, another, another booster pack. So I've got three unopened booster packs to go along with my, probably the 15 to 20 other packs. And I have no intentions of opening these. Uh, so I'm just gonna, Ooh, this one even sent me a hard plastic um, card protector because like one or two of cards out of each of these pack will be a, like a foil one or something, but that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm just going to collect them and save them, you know, until I get really old, even though I already feel really old, especially when you get a kidney stone brewing in the old kidney. But uh, yeah, they're just going to be probably higher value, you know, maybe in... 10 years, 15 years, I'll throw them up on eBay as, you know, these packs from, let's see if I can easily pick out a year here. Uh, made in Taiwan, no, made in Japan. These are made in Japan, okay. Well, I'm not seeing a, a year, but some of the writing on back is Japanese, so I'll let you know in a secret. Uh, I don't uh, speak Japanese or read it. 
<laughs> all right so yeah i'm not sure of the year I'm not seeing anything that really stands out to me but maybe something stands out to you but you know you save them for 10 years or so it's uh the way to go all right let's let's jump into this uh we're gonna start off with the 25 dollars eql box if it's like the previous box there'll be four pops in here four pops of very little to no value, <laughs> but you know, maybe somebody when packaging has made a mistake and put something good in here for me. We'll take a look. Let's take a look together. What I don't uh, like about the EQL ones as much either is besides they're usually not great pops, uh, they don't send them in protectors. You know, you go to a lot of uh, other Pop King Paul or Mystery Grail. Mystery Grail packages better, Pops packages the uh, Pops better than anybody else, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but uh, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. First pop up. Oh, look at this. The same thing I got from a previous EQL box in the last video. It's the Porky Pig... Uh, crossover with the uh, Harry Potter. Porky Pig, 1337. Is this whole box going to be the same? Uh, uh. Alright, well, I guess a little different. Only at Target, Captain America, 1319. You'll only find this guy at Target. Alright. I think I just need to quit buying the $25 mystery boxes because it's it's not like with the you know mystery grail you buy a $15 mystery uh, grail box they have 300 boxes available you still have a chance at a grail I don't think EQL is ever going to give me a grail ah that's okay they're too closely affiliated uh, with Funko if not actually Funko I'm not sure I think it's it's coming from Loungefly yeah all right, next one. We got Guardians of the Galaxy. What do we get? The High Evolutionary, the High Evolutionary 1289 from Guardians of the Galaxy. <coughs> uh, pass. <laughs> All right, so our last and whatever <laughs> is going to be Ah, well, Johnny Knoxville, I recognize that. Johnny Knoxville, 134. Johnny Knoxville, 134. I mean, I like Johnny Knoxville. Uh, it's a WWE one, really, huh? Okay. Uh, I like Johnny Knoxville, so this is a cool pop to me, even though I doubt it has any real value. Uh, that's okay, though, because, you know, Johnny Knoxville, and he's uh, always been pretty funny. Um, I've always thought about uh, fun ways that, uh, you know, it'd be fun to prank him. We uh, would always prank people on Jackass. Uh, got some creative ideas. <laughs> All right. So let's move to the uh, Pop King Paul. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll go with one of those ideas. Uh, I always thought for Johnny Knoxville, it'd be cool to see, like, maybe him and his... You set it up where him and his family, they go on vacation. You go to his house, a couple construction guys, every single door, you close them up with drywall. He comes home, it's just a box, no windows, no doors, because it's all over, and he's able to get into his house, no doors into the room, it's all walled off everywhere. I thought that would be hilarious. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments. It seems pretty funny to me. It's also expensive and... You know, it'd be nice to do, but uh, you gotta have money to do those kind of things. A lot of money, because you're wasting a lot of money to do it. All right, so last time for this $80 Pop King Paul box, I only got two pops. Um, total of the value of the box previously was $90. The box cost $80. <coughs> there's some pops in here I would like. Uh, there's a chance at Spock, which would be cool. And there's a Good looking R2-D2 too, but uh, you know, if my luck holds as it constantly does, 
down in Texas, Pop King Paul doesn't like me. So he doesn't send me things I really want. Let's take a look and see what we got this time. Oh, well actually, Jules from Pulp Fiction. I like this pop. This is a cool pop. It's not one of the ones I thought about, you know, and said, hey, this is something I really want. But I love Pulp Fiction. Uh, so we got uh, Jules 62, Jules 62. It looks like at uh, time of boxing was $90. So we're already $10 above uh, what we paid for the box. And uh, this is a fantastic pop. Uh, this one I'm going to set aside. And I've got a cabinet where I put the more expensive pops in my home. A uh, little display cabinet. So Jules will make it into the cabinet because of his value. Um, that's how they're placed in the cabinet, not based on exactly, you know, my favorite pops or anything. Uh, but he's got the value, anything $90 or above, I place in the cabinet just to have and make sure it's safe. So this next pop obviously isn't going to, uh, most likely isn't going to be too high in value because we've already hit our point and I've never once from Pop King Paul got the top hit box. So I'm not planning on starting now. Oh, and the pop protector came loose, it looks like. Oh, let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look. All right, we got a Boba Fett 297. Boba Fett 297, one of those artistic uh, colored ones. Oh, this thing came undone, which is okay. Easy enough. Mm. Uh, you know, this pop protector has seen better days. This isn't uh, seven bucks a pop, is it? Oh, and those... Yeah, you know, yeah. at time of boxing, this was $15, but let me let me show you this. See how it's popping up, guys? You know, I am uh, seven bucks a pop never sponsors me or gives me anything, but I prefer their sock protectors because look at this. This is popping up again. With the seven bucks a pop one, you've got another little slot right here and a flap that folds in and locks it down. 